Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm going to be opening up a thread of 15 piece mixed jewelry box. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com. And all of the directions on how to order are down below in the description box. So let's dive in. And this thread up box is from Mechanisburg, Pennsylvania. So I hope everyone is doing well today. I'm filming this on a very rainy day in New York. So wherever you are, I hope you are safe and doing well. Okay, so let's open up this box. And these thread up mixed jewelry boxes are $48. And that does not include tax and shipping, so they come out to about 55 I think, or a little bit more for me. And I purchased this box sometime in August. Okay, so let's dive right in. Let's see what we have. Okay. This one is a very light box. So I'm very curious to see what's in here and hoping that there are some goodies. Okay, first thing out of the bag are these gold earrings. And they look like gold studs, I think. Let's see. Um, so they are these beautiful gold earrings, and they feel like they have a really good weight to them. Let's see. And let's see if these are marked. Okay, so these are marked 925. So that's interesting. So I think this is Verme. You see the mark here? It says 925. And then it says 925 on the post as well. So these are very cool earrings. They have a nice weight to them. They're really pretty. Very nice. So I'm really liking these earrings. Love those. So we have those, and I wonder if I should test them to make sure that they are sterling. I'll just do it on the post here on the back of it. Let's see. It is indeed sterling, and I'm using the 18K solution, so if the line turns bright blue, then we know it is sterling silver. So let's see. There's a bubble here. Yes, the line is bright blue. So it is definitely sterling. So very cool. Very happy about these earrings. So we have that. Okay. Next out of the bag we have oh Betsy Johnson earrings. And I'm sorry guys if I'm whispering again, but um I have some very loud neighbors that are right outside, and I just don't want them to hear what's going on. So we have these Betsy Johnson earrings. How cute are these? These little frogs. And they look enameled, and they have rhinestones on their backs. Beautiful gold feet. Beautiful. They are gorgeous. And these are studs. These are so cute. I love them. And these measure the teeny. They're about, I'd say, a little over half an inch. 
cute. Very nice. I love those. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, we have something here. And this looks like it could possibly be sterling, and I think it is. There is a mark on it, but I can't seem to make it out. Maybe you guys can. There's a little mark there. And then it says, Italy. So it says Italy on the chain right there. And also has 925 on the clasp itself, as well as on, as well as right there. So that's cool. And it's this sort of rope chain. Really pretty. Super shiny. Beautiful. And we'll test this to see if it is indeed sterling. Let's try the end here. And it definitely looks sterling. We'll rotate the 18K solution, like Kristen D says, and test and see if the line turns blue. And it definitely does. So that's a nice sterling rope chain. And this measures a measurement on this guy. It's a nice length. It is, hmm, I wonder if this is 18 inches. Let's see. Nope, it's a little bit more. So it's about 20 inches around the neck. Beautiful rope chain, sterling silver. Nice. So we have that. Okay. Next we have here Something that looks like a stone. And let's see. Now, oh, this is really interesting. It feels cold to the touch. So, I wonder if this is some sort of an agate. Let's see. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at the design on the back of that. Beautiful. And these, it looks like a paper clip, paper clip chain, possibly handmade, wire wrapped. And then we have this gorgeous clasp. And let's see. And I guess this is the extender here, these larger loops. Then we have this gorgeous, beautiful bezel set. Um, this looks like a pendant. You can see here it has like a little um, clasp here where you can remove it. So I wonder if this person just put this pendant on here. But this definitely looks handmade. Very beautiful. And I wonder if this is sterling because it looks like it could be. Yeah, it's definitely not magnetic. So let's try and test this and see if this is sterling. I think it is. And then this guy looks like it possibly could be Vermeer again. So I'm wondering if we should test this. So let's see if we can test that. And, hmm. I do see some copper. Let's see if any of this is sterling. Okay, so this did not test to be sterling. These paper clip chains are not sterling, but the actual wire here to make this is actually sterling. So that's interesting. Very interesting. But it is a beautiful necklace, nonetheless. So, 
Let's get a measurement on this guy. I think, let's measure it this way. It's about 20 inches around the neck. Very beautiful necklace. So we have that. Okay, next, we have something that looks like a ball chain and it has a toggle clasp and it does have a tag here. So let me see if I can make this out. So I think it says, I believe it says Brooks Brothers 918. So this is a Brooks Brothers necklace. And I didn't know that Brooks Brothers made jewelry. I thought they just made like business clothes or office clothes, but um, this is really pretty. It's like choker length. And most likely it's going to be gold plated. But let's take a measurement on this guy. Very pretty bright gold color. This measures about 15 inches around the neck. Very beautiful necklace. So we have that. Very nice. Okay, next we have another necklace. This looks like a gunmetal color and it has this wire wrapping here with some silver and black wire and then we have a stone here, yellow stone and another yellow stone, really pretty. And let's see what this is. This is a Nine West necklace. Here's the tag, Nine West. This is very pretty. Very beautiful Nine West necklace. So let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures 16 inches around the neck. Very beautiful. We have that. Let's see what else we have. The bracelet here, and this looks like it's 925, and it is marked 925 right there. And it's pretty beautiful chain here. It's really beautiful. It's very sort of have an articulated feeling to it. Really lovely. Um, let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures. about seven and a half inches. And let's test this to see if it is durable because it could be a faker and we don't like fakers like Kristen D. Hmm, I wonder if this is a faker because it's not coming up as sterling. Let's see again. That's interesting. It's definitely eating up the line, the acid. So I'm going to try and test another portion here and see if this is sterling or not. But if it maybe three times the charm, I don't know. Let's try and see. Nope. So this guy is a faker. Definitely a faker. So always good to test your sterling. It's very deceiving since things are marked. So it is marked there rather sloppily, the 925. So this is not sterling, but it's very beautiful nonetheless. Very pretty still. So we have that. Okay, next. Earrings. And these are very pretty and festive. These little circle dangle earrings. Gorgeous. Very pretty. I like those a lot. 
and these are not marked, I don't think. No, there is no mark on them. They are a little bit dirty, so they will have to be cleaned up. These guys are gorgeous. How pretty are they? They're like little statement earrings. And they measure about an inch. Beautiful. Okay, we have those. And we have a bangle. And this is a clamper. And this one is not marked, but it's pretty enameled and it's an ivory color. Very beautiful. And this one measures, oops, about seven inches with a diameter of about two and a half. Beautiful condition. Um, there's a little bit of enamel on the metal there. You could see that. It's still pretty. Looks very J. Crew, Banana Republic-ish. Okay, let's keep going. So we have here a pretty fashion necklace. And this one does not have a mark, but we have these tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell links and these acrylic turquoise colored beads. Very beautiful. Pretty. And this measures, let's see, that 14 inches around the neck with a three inch extender. Pretty colors, love that. We have that. Okay, next we have here a woven leather wrap bracelet. And let's see if I can take this out. Okay. So it's this pretty blue leather and then we have hot pink and red threaded through and braided in. Really pretty. And there's no maker's mark on this, but it's a wrap bracelet. And let's see. Yeah, so I think you can wrap it around twice around your wrist. So let's take a measurement on this. We'll take it at its largest and its smallest. So at the largest, let's see. At its largest, it is about seven and a quarter. And at its smallest, it can accommodate up to a six inch wrist. So very nice. Pretty bracelet. And we have earrings to match. How cool is that? So we have earrings to match the bracelet. And okay, these have a mark. So these are Stella and Dots. So I believe the bracelet is also Stella and Dot. See that? In the back there it says Stella and Dot. So that is pretty cool. So we have these hoop earrings that match the bracelet. Very cool. So we have those. Let's keep going. Here we have something in here. And it looks like a ring. And it's pretty. It has this little domed center. And it has this scroll work around the sides. 
and this is marked 925 and it has a heart so I think this is a Brighton um, so let's see if this is sterling and I know Brighton makes some sterling jewelry so let's test this and see if it is indeed sterling because again Yes, it is indeed sterling. So that's great. And I think this is a Brighton ring. And this measures, take a size on this guy. This one measures about six and three quarters. So that's really cool. You can wear it as a thumb ring. Very nice. Like that a lot. And then, I think I received this in my last thread out box. It's another one of these clamper bracelets. It's this snake, and it's got the mosaic body. And rhinestones. So we have this guy again, this clamper. And this guy is up for sale on my Poshmark store. But if you're interested in this, I will definitely give you a good price on it. And this one measures, let's see, about six and a quarter inches in circumference with a diameter of about two, two and a little bit over two inches. Let's see, but it's really pretty. Um, I think all the stones are there, the mosaic looks pretty good on him. Yeah, so we have him again. Okay, I think we are down to our last piece. And what a way to end this box. Let's take a look at this guy. This looks very interesting. Let's see if I can get it out. Whoa, what is this? Wow, this looks very tribal looking and it's really a statement piece wow this is beautiful um, these are made of wood and they're painted or dyed and these are wood as well and wow this is just a beautiful piece and this is stunning what a way to enter the room guys if you're wearing this little black dress black turtleneck come on Wow, stunning. Let's take a measurement on this guy. So this is the top of him. And then we have this statement necklace. Very beautiful. Oh, love that. Okay, so this measures about 21 inches around the neck. Wow, statement piece if I've ever seen one. Okay, guys, so I think that was it for this box. So let's review. So we have this statement necklace. That's, and we have the Stella and Dot earrings and bracelet. So that's three, four. We have the snake bracelet. That's four. Then we have this necklace by Nine West. That's five. And six, we have the Betsy Johnson earrings. Seven, we have the 925 rope chain. Seven, we have these beautiful earrings. Oops. Eight, we have this part 925 and agate necklace. Okay, I've lost count, but let's keep going. So, and then we have this bracelet, which is a faker. And then we have this beautiful fashion necklace and this Brooks Brothers gold-plated chain. And then we have these Vermeer earrings, which are very nice. And the clamper. And the Brighton ring. So I think overall it was a pretty decent box. I mean, it's nothing too great. Um, I like the Betsy Johnson earrings. I like the Vermeer earrings. I like the Brighton ring. 
and this Brooks Brothers seems nice, and of course the statement necklace. Um, but let me know, guys, what you thought of this box. Do you think it was worth it? What were your favorite pieces? Yeah, but it was definitely fun. A lot of different pieces in here. Okay, guys, so if you like this video, please comment down below and let me know what your favorite pieces were. Hit that thumbs up, because that helps show my videos to you and to other people who haven't seen this content before. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, because that will give you a notification whenever my videos come up, so you won't miss one. And most of all, guys, be well.